Hello friends this video tutorial we are going to learn how to make stylish toggle checkbox by using bootstrap toggle query plugin and after this how can we pass value of that stylish toggle checkbox value via form and insert data into my SQL table by using Ajax with PHP. If we have used Bootstrap library then this plugin can be very easily integrated with our web development environment. This is very highly flexible Bootstrap plugin that convert checkboxes into toggle button. Suppose we have any web application with stylish user interface then we can use this plugin, because suppose we have used simple checkbox interface that is very common in any web application but if we have used the stylish toggle checkbox then it will provide something unique to your web application. Here we will discuss how to integrate this Bootstrap Toggle Query plugin into our developing environment and after this how can we pass this toggle checkbox value for server-side operation. Now let's start learning this topic. This are testing database and in this we have one user's table with three table column like id, name and gender. We insert data into this table and here gender table column data will be get from stylish toggle check boxes. This is our index page and on this page we have include JavaScript library query and bootstrap web development library also. In fourth link we have include bootstrap toggle javascript file and in last link we have include bootstrap toggle style sheet file. First we want to make one html form, so we have write form tagged with attribute method is equal to post and it is equal to insert data, we will use the sid value in query code as selector. Under this form first we have write input type is equal to text with name is equal to name and it is equal to name, under this text box we can enter username. After this we want to define one checkbox for select gender, so we have write input type is equal to checkbox with attribute name is equal to gender and it is equal to gender and we have write checked attribute. That means this checkbox will always checked. Then after we have defined one hidden field with attribute name is equal to hidden gender, it is equal to hidden gender and in value attribute we have write mail. We will store gender checkbox value into this field and pass this tag value for insert data into table. Lastly we want to create one submit button for send this form data to server, so we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal insert, it is equal to action and value is equal to insert. Now we have go to query code and under this first we want to initialize bootstrap toggle plugin via javascript, so here we have write checkbox hit gender with bootstrap toggle method. This method will initialize plugin feature on gender checkbox and convert into stylish toggle button. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see that form with one text box, submit button and checkbox has been converted into stylish toggle button with value on and off. But in place of on and off we want to write male and female. So we go to index page and here in bootstrap toggle method we have wrote on option and in this we have write mail. So this mail text will be display instead of on text. Same way in place of off text we want to display female text, so we have write off option with text female, so it will display female text in place of off. Now we have go to browser and check output. First we have refresh page and after refresh of page we can see on and off text has been replaced with male and female toggle button. Now we want to change color of this toggle button. 
so we have again Gotage Query Bootstrap Toggle Method and in this we have Write on Style option and in this we have Write Success, this will change background color of Make Button to Green that means here we have used Bootstrap Success Button class. After this we want to change female button background color to red, so here we have write off style option and in this we have write danger, this will change female button background to red. Now have check effect of this code. So here we have refresh page and after refresh of page we can see that checkbox toggle button background color has been changed like male button color changed to green and female button color has been changed to red. After this we want to assign value of select the gender checkbox to hidden gender tag. So here we have write dollar with checkbox hid gender with change method. So when we have toggle button this code will execute. Under this we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar with this selector with prompt method and under this method we have write checked. This condition will check we have toggle gender checkbox or not. So suppose we have changed gender toggle button then it will return true and it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose above condition return true then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar with hidden tag id hidden gender with value method and under this we have write male. So here we have assign male value to hidden gender tag. Same way suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write dollar with it hidden gender with value method and under this we have write female. So here we have assign female value to hidden gender tag. After assign gender checkbox value to hidden gender field now we want to submit form data to server. So we have write dollar with form and insert data with on method and under this we have write submit event with function. So when form has been submitted then this code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will prevent to submit to server. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with text box id name with value method is equal to blank value. So when text box has no value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose name text box has no value then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write alert pop message with text like please enter name. This message will be pop up on web page. But suppose name text box has some value then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write form data variable is equal to dollar this with serialize method. This method will convert form data into URL and code string. Now we have start writing Ajax request, in this first we have write URL option set to insert.php, so here we have send request to this page. After this we have write method option and in this we have write post, so here we have used post method to send form data to server. In third option we have write data option. In this we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write form data variable in which we have store form data into URL encoded string. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if Ajax request request completed successfully and this function will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. Under this function we have write of statement and under condition we have write data variable is equal to done, this condition will check if data variable value is equal to done then it will execute if block of code. Under this if block first we want to reset form data so, we have write dollar with form and insert data 0 index with reset method, this method will reset form data. After this we want to reset gender checkbox. So we have write dollar with checkbox hid gender with bootstrap toggle method and under this method we have write on, so this code will reset gender checkbox value to on toggle button text which is male. And lastly we have write alert pop up message like data inserted, this alert pop message will be display on web page.
Now we have moved to write PHP code, and here we have write of statement and under condition we have writes of function with dollar post name variable value. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block first we want to make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do object with my SQL is equal to host set to local host. Database name set to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into users table with column like name and gender with values like double colon name and gender. Below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. This will make query for execution. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have pass double colon name value from dollar post name variable and double colon gender value from dollar post hidden gender variable in array format. This method will execute query with value pass in array format. Now we want to get result of query execution, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will return query execution result which we have stored into this dollar result variable. Now we can check data properly inserted or not from this dollar result variable value. So we have write of statement and under condition we have writes at function with dollar result variable. This condition will check if dollar result variable value is set that means data properly inserted and it will execute if block of code. So suppose dollar result variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write echo statement with done text which we have sent to Ajax request. So here our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends we have already see how bootstrap toggled query plugin converts simple checkbox into toggle button and we have also see how to change text on toggle button and how can we change background color of toggle button. Now we want to send this toggle button value to server via Ajax request. So in name text box we have write Nyla Parker and in gender we have select female and after this we have click on insert button. After clicking on insert button we have received data inserted pop message and after this name text box has been clear and female toggle has been changed to male. That means our code is working. And in database table now we have see data inserted or not. So here we can see that data properly insert via Ajax request send to PHP code. So if we want to make stylish toggle button from checkbox then we can use this bootstrap toggle query plugin and it is easy to use and easy understand and it converts simple checkbox to stylish toggle button. So if you want to create form with stylish user interface then we can use this plugin for convert simple checkbox to stylish toggle button and in this tutorial we have seen how to integrate bootstrap toggle button and how to pass this value to server via form with Ajax and insert into table using PHP with Ajax. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part. Please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.